Morning friends, it's uh, Lance Klussig and I'm here today with Willem. What's your last name, Willem? Van White. And uh, Willem and I are learning how to drive the tractor. Well, you're learning how to drive yeah. it. So Willem is one of uh, my son Eli's best friends and they get together quite a bit. Um, and I don't know, Willem, tell us what we're doing today. Um, feeding the cows, bring a bale to them. Yeah, and the horses and the goats. And the goats, yeah, yeah. And so, um, yeah, part of this is passing it on the next generation, right? So um, that can look a lot of way, different ways. You know, Willem and his family, the Van Wykes, live about an hour from us on the other side of the Mississippi. But um, yeah, he's here today. Uh, he, they're, we used to homeschool with them and their family. That was a really wonderful time. And uh, we've since made a change, but Willem's here to help today and learn how to drive this and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go I'm gonna have Willem uh, show us how to drive the tractor because that's part of passing it on not only a love of the land but a love of the machine if you like those and um, so let's just take a little bit of a walk here we'll, we'll, yep hop right up there all right let's see if we can do this all right so what's the first step Push the clutch. Yeah. All right. And then what? Put it in gear. Grab a gear. We're gonna go low gear. Yep. All right. Got any gear? Give it a little throttle. And now we look behind us. See if there's any goats back there, right? Yep. Look in front of us. All right. You ready? Yep. Let's shut your door over there. All right. Put that latch over it. All right. Well, I think Willem's ready. So I'll shut your door and now check back here behind you again. So no goats and then you take off and you just head straight and the cows maybe follow. So yeah, it's Willem, he's I think 12 and uh, like I said, the boys last night, they uh, they were put, ripped, my oldest had ripped apart the, uh, the farm hall C from about a week ago that we did a video on and last night they got new rings and head gasket and the whole shooting match. So. As two 12 year olds, I'm damn proud of them. And uh, excuse the French, but uh, this is pretty awesome to have a farm and, and teach the next ones. And you know, I did a video on these too. I don't, I don't like those things. I actually, I shouldn't say I hate them, but anyway, so we're gonna take a run at it. And um, yeah, it's fun. So uh, we'll let Willem go. There he goes. And look at the chains on this. That's a, that's a 12 year old special there. Ingenuity, and that's some first crop hay. Not bad. They'll eat it. They make a living on it, and um, he'll take off. I think the cows will stay because I usually every couple days I give them a small square bale. And uh, look at them calves. They're still on mom. Look at the hair on them. Sawyer, he's a heck of a good little. He's a steer now just castrated or banded but let's see where's his where's his kissing cousin here's sienna she's our first calf i like her look at that deep gut on her she's low profile that is not her mom though let's see carol's her mom uh steve you know that isn't his here i think sawyer's the big boy here oh no here he is this is, let's see if i can get a anyway here's she look at that look at that feller He's still got his uh, scrotum sack there. He hasn't lost it, but it is all shriveled. But again, folks, here's Carol. He's, she's my favorite. Look at that low profile. She's got a calf on her, uh, big, deep gut on her. She's pregnant. She's basically the first one to calve, first one to breed back. Uh, just, I, I like her. I like her a lot. I don't know what she weighs, but I don't think she's much over... 11 or 11.50, although I'm no expert. Hey, sweetie. Yeah, there's Talia. Hey, there's my girl. We got the horses, we got the goats. We got them all, so. Uh, yeah, good looking group of cows here. Again, the kids actually own, uh, they each own a pair here. And, uh, and then Chrissy and I have an arrangement where we have first dibs, obviously, to buy them back. Um, because they're on our land the kids we don't charge the kids to, <laughs> they run the, their cattle on our land 
But we do charge the kids this. They, they got to pay for this, right? Because this is part of running a business, buying this stuff. So I think, what did I have them spend? I think it was, they each paid for a ninth of the hay this year. And it's hard to see, but we got about 20 round bales there and maybe three, four there. So that's the story and I'm sticking to it as they say. Come on girls, come on girls. Um, yeah, we're gonna, a little bit windy today, but it's supposed to, I don't know, next couple weeks are not the best, but we're gonna go ice fishing this weekend with the kids and take a break from the farm, because let me tell you, that is so important. So, and we got some chickens we gotta get moved. There's 600 of them coming today, so. All right, he stopped, so. All right, friends, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Again, it's to the next generation, because I just turned 40 and uh, my wife did. And in about a week and a half, we'll be, uh, we'll be, um, it'll be three years since we bought Heart and Soil Ridge, the week of COVID. So, um, let's, I'll have Willem keep driving. There he comes. He's a pretty cautious, good little driver. As long as I don't get stuck in a drift. Well, good thing we got her in four. We didn't quite peg down. There we are. So, anyway, we're going to bring it out here. Uh, I want to spread the nutrients and uh, try to get across this pasture basically every fifth or sixth year. Uh, now, if you don't have cattle, that, uh, that's, uh, that can be harder. That can be easier said than done. But uh, that's part of the reason people ask me why I have cow calves when there's no money in them. Well, there's a couple main reasons. Um, no, we got a waterway here to cross. Uh, Hold on here, jeepers, cats, we got slush. All right, we made her. Um, but uh, part of the reason is to give these kids an experience. You know, the boy, Eli, has got his Eli's engines and um, um, that's a beautiful thing, no doubt. Um, and, um, you know, Liam, I think is gonna get back into the pigs and maybe own some of them this spring. We're getting 20 Berkshires and really like those for heritage and flavor. Um, and um, and the chickens. So uh, I better watch what I'm doing here I'm gonna get stuck. Maybe just did. Let's see, we'll put a reverse. No, you can laugh all you want. Well, this video is done. <laughs> Good thing Willem's coming. He got a chain, I think. Or I got a chain in the truck, but the reason I'm coming out here with the bales, you can see how far we've come. Back, where are we at here? Well, back there, you can see Willem coming, but um, you see I got a bale here. Um, yeah, there's a strap, we'll get her pulled out. Oh, and some doggy bones. Here, friends, uh, you go to the butcher and you're a farmer, this is not waste. You don't let your butcher take that. Holy smokes. We raised some fox red labs. We actually got one little male pup that's ready to go. But along here, I'll show you this. Uh, where's the fence? Here it is. Uh, my water line runs right here. There's a goose. No, might be a swan. It's a big neck on it. You probably can't see it. But anyway, uh, my water line runs here so we can water this way. That's about 200 and then we can water this way up to that fence line. That's 400 or 410. But anyway, around here, they're every 300 foot. And they, you know, with my grazing management, I'm still learning like we all are. And uh, like I'm learning right there, look at that nice pickup uh, stuck in the snow. Uh, but they beat it up pretty bad. Oh, I bring the tank out about 40, I got a 50 foot hose, so 30 to 40 feet. But I wanna get some of that residue, some of that armor on. I wanna get the ground covered. I hate bare ground. Uh, so, Jeepers, look at this here. Well, we'll get the strap out. So, oh yeah, shoot me a few comments, right? Tell me how good it is to, you know, have fun on the farm. So, and if you don't got a tow strap or chain, you just grab the heavy duty ratchet and that'll work. So, all right, friends, I gotta get going. Here comes Willem. Where is he? There he is, and the cows are, cows are coming to their train, so. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Give us a, a thumbs or whatever. Talk to you.